Quack facts <laughs> underscore. Should athletes utilize belts when they're lifting weights? Um, so it really it depends. Mm -hmm. That's how my answers for every question start. Mm -hmm. If you are a person who is trying to get, who's trying to compete in a strength sport, so you want to maximize the amount of weight that you can lift, I think for the most part, people can benefit from using a belt. There's always those outliers that get weaker with a belt on. I mean, Yuri Belkin doesn't use a belt, and the guy that lifts close to a thousand pounds. Really? Uh, has he hit a thousand pounds? He's uh, to shit. No. No, but yeah. No, Yuri Belkin lifts no. wow. Yuri Belkin lifts beltless, and there's a. Well, he does sumo too. What about what about squatting? Does squats he, with no belt. Does yeah. he use a belt? No, no belt for oh, squat. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, and there's a couple guys like that. Who's the other guy that lifts over a thousand pounds beltless? Uh, it Russian was dude. Constantine. Constantine. Wow. Constantine. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, but I mean, there's that's two people, right? Yeah. I think like for the most part, most world records are broken with a belt, and mm -hmm. that's because it provides a clear mm -hmm. performance advantage to wear one. Mm -hmm. Um, I think a lot of people get caught on that like dependency dilemma. Oh, am I going to wear a belt? Am I going to make my abs weaker? Am I going to start depending mm -hmm. on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you're going to start depending on it to lift heavy weights, mm -hmm. but it's not like your your core is going to get weaker from mm -hmm. using it. Mm -hmm. So I think... It's, it's almost, it's just a tactile cue, in my opinion. Like really for intra-abdominal pressure. And, and uh, like safety, like yeah. in your mind. Oh, yeah. In yeah, your okay, mind, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like you yeah. think, like you think it's, it's yep. protecting you and mm -hmm. that alone can increase your, yep, yep, like sure. your yep. strength. Mm -hmm. So placebo or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I think if you're serious about lifting weights, I think you should, and if you have a goal in mind or you're competing, I think you should give it a shot, see mm -hmm. if it helps you. Um, and if not, I mean, you can or you... Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't mean wear it for your bicep curls and everything yeah, else yeah, you're yeah. doing, but for it's your, your body like, builder, eighty percent plus on. lifts. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking wear a body. Where, where's his damn belt when he's doing damn side raises and shit? Fifteens <laughs> 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 and shit, just like. <laughs> and it can all be it can all be balanced out. So if you're a person who who does tend to use a belt even for lower percentages, mm -hmm. you can find ways to strengthen the muscles that. Uh, the, that the belt is acting as so your mm -hmm. external abdominal obliques like you can do exercises to target those muscles mm -hmm. outside of your main lifts so i think mm -hmm. like that's where, where it goes wrong for most people is like they don't want to wear the belt because they don't want those muscles to be weak but they forget that they can make those muscles strong using other exercises that are less risky mm -hmm. and that are specifically designed to strengthen those particular areas mm -hmm. and then you can maximize using the belt for Lifting as much weight as you exactly. can. Exactly. Get the stimulus. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect.